today we will talk regarding the analog read and we have some example. Till now what we learn, we learn how to use the analog write, uh, sorry, digital write, and uh, uh, having the mode for our uh, pins. Uh, first of all, let us see what can be the inputs. For inputs uh, of our board, I mean the Arduino board, you can think of all type of sensors out uh, uh, there, something like temperature sensors, light sensor, touch, uh, touch sensors, flex, uh, flex sensors, humidity sensors, infrared sensors, distance sensors, uh, to some uh, few things, uh, few names, and you can think of some sensors as the input device, and those type of uh, sensors can be read by Arduino board. But one of the inputs which is more famous, and today we are working on that, is key and switch, okay? Uh, then, as the input, let us clear what we say for our Arduino board is have the large group of the sensors and keys as the input. And if I want to tell you what should be the output for my Arduino board, it can be something like DC motors, something like stepper motors, servo motors, some solenoid valves, LCDs, LED speakers, electrical stuffs, and LED as EVC. So our Arduino can be used to read inputs and control the inputs. That kind of uh, things that uh, we are searching to do with our Arduino board. Let us see, there is some thumbs rule, something like that, good rules of thumb, that does your project have an input and output, and some simple logic uh, just we need to coordinate between them, which is the job of our Arduino board. <clears throat> Means from this lecture, we will start to read something from input and show something to the output, okay? Or read something as the input and do some uh, proper action to our uh, output part. Uh, then have a look to this figure. Maybe it will clear more part for you and you can uh, maybe analyze and un understand better for today lecture. Um, we have something like this, some pins which should be used as the inputs and some pins which should use as the output. That is why we call it digital I.O. or digital input output, which allow us to connect the sensors, actuator, and other ICs to Arduino. Learning how to use the inputs and output will allow us to use the Arduino to do some real and useful things, such as reading the switch inputs, lighting indicators, and controlling the relay output, and Digital inputs and output are the Arduino are uh, what allow you to connect the Arduino sensors, actuator, ICs, and uh, do some fantastic job. Um, first of all, even we talked before, but let us see what is the digital signals. Uh, as you know, we have two types of signal. One we call digital, we just have the state of high and low. And another one we call it analog, which in analog uh, signal, we have the continuous number. But with the digital signal, we just have two value, zero or one, on or off. But between this on and off, there is the big gap and big numbers or big domain of the changes value 
which we can just read it with the analog and we call this analog. Uh, we use this situation where inputs and outputs have one of those two value. Means uh, when we can use just digital signals, just when the output of our, uh, uh, the part that we want to add to our Arduino have just this value of on and off or high and low. Suppose something is using the digital signal to turn on and off uh, some LED. Then to work with digital uh, signals, as we learn, first of all, we should clear the mood and status of our pins. I mean that we have the syntax that we call it pin mode. And in the pin mode, you have three options. If you remember, we describe it and discuss last uh, lecture that we have three modes of uh, input, output, and pull up, which today we will talk more on um, input and pull up part. And if I want to write something to the output, or if I want to show some action to my output, we will use the digital write. Then, if I want to read anything by my Arduino board, I should use the digital read. Okay. Today we will talk more on digital read part because digital write we discuss. You have done the simulation, but for digital read, we should work for today. This is the subject that today we are uh, focusing on. Okay, let us see what should be the digital inputs. To connect the digital inputs to our Arduino pins, we have the digital pins from pin number zero to pin number 30. Even you should be remember that pin number zero and pin number one will use for serial programming. It's better that you don't use these two pin for uh, any other application because when you want to uh, programming uh, the Arduino board, you, it will create some problem for you. Then it's my advice that try to not to use pin number zero and pin number one. Think that you don't have these two pins. And then start from pin number two and go ahead. But if you have some limitation in your design, there is some way that later I will tell you what to do and how to use this even two pin, which will not create the problem for you in the time of programming. Okay, then. First thing is that if I want to have the digital input, I should know which pin I should use. Then the pin number zero to pin number 30. Second step is that I should clear for my Arduino board that what is the mode and which mode I want to use with my Arduino board. Okay. The syntax is very simple as we used before. We use the pin mode and specify the digital pin. After that, we will use the mode, which should be input, input pull up, if you want to use as the pull up. Today, we will see what the difference between mode when it's input and when it's in pull up, okay? And then if you want to get and see that what's going on on your digital uh, pin, Simply, you can use this syntax as digital read and specify the pin. Please remember that this pin just can have two value of high and low, or in the other sense, on and off. Maybe it will remind you just switch or key, which is correct. This type of inputs, which basically works on inputs and outputs, inputs which work with the on and off, 
is mainly conducted by the uh, it's mainly conducted by the switch okay let's go ahead um think for the pin mode syntax and mode because of Arduino digital input output can be used for either inputs or output <clears throat> first of all you should configure and confirm with the Arduino board that you intend to use the digital board uh, with this function we discussed this before but once again I will tell you that pin uh, is the number of pin that you wish to configure mode must be one of these three input output or input pull up but remember the point is here if you are using the input pull up you should use the 20 kilo ohm pull up resistor which is internally connected to the pin to force the inputs high and if there is nothing connected to the pin okay remember this point that we have some internal resistor which is there and it will help us more to denoise and have the success reading for our digital io pins uh, we talked regarding this uh, function which we call it digital right in digital right we said that just we need to know which pin number and what is the value. Value is high or low. Uh, this we test on the previous example, something like blink example that uh, we had and you have done uh, the good simulation regarding this uh, syntax. Then it's very clear that this function writes a digital values to a pin and pin is specified which Arduino pin the digital value will written to and value is digital value to which pin is set value must be either high or low um as for today uh um uh, subject that we are thinking for digital inputs to read the data for the sensor or from any other device or circuits we need to configure the digital pins as inputs and Arduino pin are sets as digital inputs different so there is no need to configure pin as inputs to configure pin as digital inputs something like pin mode function will use and we can read the data from general purpose inputs output pin or GPIO pin just using the digital rate function. Digital rate pin, it's used to read data from some specified GPIO pin. Okay, now it's ready. Sometimes switching between one state to another pins configure as input with nothing connected to them may arise situation of high impedance state then it will do the floating state which this state may report the random change in pin state this situation we call it noise or any unwanted signal then to avoid this state there is one option that we can use some pull up resistor, which it means one leg of our resistor is connect to inputs and other part is pull up means five volt and pull down means that using the another leg to the ground. Okay, which helps to set the inputs to some known state. In the other world, the work for pull up or pull down is something that will give the preset state or some stable states to the uh, input spin for us and will uh, tell us 
uh, that initially you have some uh, presets value. Um, these circuits that I show here, here I mean with the inputs which shows the key and another one which has the pull-up resistor, uh, it's the image which show the high impedance undefined state and some pull-up resistor. Means in the high impedance state, you cannot read the inputs proper, but in the pull-up resistor, it's 100% guarantee that it will work. If I want to tell you the use of these uh, circuits, all of us will use the door bell or door ringing bell, which will use the push button. If you continuously press the push button of any alarm or any uh, ringing door, you will see that the sound which will generate by the bell will have the fluctuation. It means that it goes up and down, up and down, like that. It's exactly happened with some high impedance state. Besides, which these things we, we, we should test really on the uh, Arduino board, but now I will even tell you that uh, without this resistor, reading the digital pins is not uh, simple, and most of the time it has the noise and problem. Please keep it in your mind that. Uh, if you are uh, um, going to read the digital inputs, then uh, having this resistor will help you more. Anyway, um, let us continue and see that um, what more uh, things can bring by this uh, pull-up resistor. As you will see, Arduino or Atmega has some inbuilt configurable pull-up resistor, which is inside of the ICs. And this resistor enable using the pin mode with mode set to inputs pull up. When connecting a dry device or sensors to pin configured as input with the pull up, the other end should be connected to the ground. For example, if I want to use this uh, pin number three as the inputs pull up, we can configure the inputs pull up it, uh, in another way too if uh, we set the direction of pins as inputs and write the high value on that pin, that will be turn on the pull-up resistor. Then what we should learn, first of all, to read the digital pins. It's better that we use the pull-up resistor. Okay, that was first. Then, Whatever things that today I want to tell for you is just like that. We had one statement that we will say the digital read, and we will specify the pin that we should read. And this function will read a digital value from the pin, which is the digital IO pins for us, and function return one of these two values. It will give us high or low. Okay, uh, let us continue for our today talk and uh, and uh, see that how this nice and small uh, uh, syntax can help us to do some great job. Um, what I'm going to do is that. Uh, I will share some, again, practical video for you. Uh, it will take some time, but uh, I will try to do it 
within this today that uh, you will see the jobs that can be hand over by digital uh, read and write and enjoy it. Uh, meanwhile, for the next lecture, you have some tasks to do. And uh, I think this task, if you do it, when we will meet and start uh, some practical uh, section with each other, you will enjoy more to work with Arduino board. Even I um, think that if you can have some elementary part, something like LEDs and do that things in your home as the hobby, it will help you to understand this subject is uh, better. This uh, class are very simple, very simple. I'm sure that within next one and two weeks, you will see that how nice job can do with Arduino board. Okay, uh, let us continue. First, we will start with blinking LED project that I saw that most of you have done it good in the simulation part, even with two simulator that we have. And I think that now all of you are clear with this. For first of all, we will start our uh, circuits with the help of uh, LEDs and one LED, which uh, will use one resistor as the 220 ohm and one LED, which will be used there. Then very simple and uh, good even we can say useful code is like that, which as you can see, we are using and specify our LED on pin number eight, as I shown here, pin number eight. And then here we say that we want the mode of our pin number eight should be as output. Here, I didn't put the name of the pin directly. I put the name for my pins and then call it. Then in the loop section, first I will put the delay of 1,000 uh, 1, milliseconds, which is linear to one second, and then make this pin as high again, use the, the delay of 1,000 milliseconds, and then use this pin as low. This is the simple one that you have done before. Just I want you to review the digital write syntax as well as pin mode uh, syntax. These two is something that we want to uh, just refresh and recall it as uh, from previous lecture. Let us do some nice things today. Suppose, now I want to control the LED with the help of switch. I mean that whenever I press the key, I want that my LED is turned on. And whenever I remove my hand, the LED will not uh, work. Exactly like the alarm, okay? Whenever I press the key, the alarm will work. And whenever I, uh, when I didn't press, the alarm will not work, okay? Uh, this experiment will uh, shows how the digital output and digital input will work by pressing some push button, which is connect to digital inputs. In this example, we are using to, uh, we are going to use the statement of digital write and digital read at the same time in the code. Let us see what will happen. <laughs> As you can see, I use two pins. One is pin number nine, which is coming here and then use for my key. Another one is pin number eight, which is connect to my LED. It means that pin number nine should be the input pin, and pin number eight should be my output pins. Okay, let us see the code. Here I specify the pins as the input is pin number eight, and pin as the output is pin number nine okay then here first job is that i should say 
what is the state or what is the use or what I want to do with these two pins. As I say, pin number eight is the output pin. Then simply I will say pin mode LED and output. Another one is input, which is my pin number nine. And I will say that pin mode button and input, as you will see. This is the fixed configuration that we will use in setup section or first part of our Arduino board. For the next part, or for the loop part, we are using the int read, which is the digital read pins, and we are going to read the states of our inputs. Then digital read, simply we will read, and then as we know that this value should be the value of high or low, because with this switch, we use some resistor here, okay? Then simply, you will see that if I uh, press the key, if the value is high, my LED will turn on, and if the value is low, my LED will turn on. This is the nice example, which with the help of that, you can control and see the states and um, controlling and the states of the input. Uh, okay. What will happen if I want to use two LED? Suppose now I'm going to use um, two LED, which is connect to pin number three and pin number four based on the figure that I show here and then press the key okay uh, besides uh, with this uh, we also can use some buzzer or some speaker for that let us see what should be the process of work we want that when we push uh, we, we press the push button, turn the yellow LED on, and the uh, red one should be off. And when we release the push button, the LED red should turn on and the yellow one should turn off. Then, very simple, in our setup section, first we will say which pin is uh, input, which pin, pin is output as you will see in this figure we have uh, the pin number two as the input and pin number three and four as the output just have a look for one minute or some seconds uh, to understand uh, the program better have a look please see this What I have done, input and output. One output I connect to red LED and one output I connect to yellow LED. Okay, well. Now let us see. In the main loop, first uh, you need some if. Why? Because we want to say that if I press the push button, do this. If I didn't do, okay, do another action. Then it's very simple. One if else can work for us. And how we should check? We should check if pin number two is high, then the LED of yellow should turn on and LED of red should turn off. And else, or in any other condition, it should be reverse. As I show here for you, if the digital pin number two is high, I have the digital right of three and digital right of four as low. And else, or any in any other condition, I have the digital right of three as low and high. Please have a look and try to analyze this program for uh, just 
one minute, two minutes. Please see these carefully. As you can see, it's uh, very nice. It means that you can uh, do lots of job with this. Suppose if you want to turn uh, on and off a lamp, if you want to turn on and off a key or any other application like that, you will see that uh, how to work uh, with this uh, simple statement and how it can uh, help you to do the um, some great job with the Arduino board. Okay, nice. Um, as you will see, it's not difficult. And then uh, you can uh, uh, do very nice job with the help of this uh, LED part. What I'm searching now, I want to find some good example for you to see. Uh, for Arduino board. Okay. Then uh, the total code is like that. Once again, now please analyze this program. Please review this code once again. Very fast, but review this code in your mind uh, and try to analyze it. Try to find that what is the relation between them, how it will work, okay? Okay, you will see that before setup, oh, sorry. Before setup, I uh, I just specify the modes of my pin, and after that, I use one simple if, else statement and then with the help of that we will turn on and off the output that we need okay um let us analyze like these suppose in another example i have um one more application which in that I want to turn on and off the LED, which is connected to pin number 13. And my key is in uh, pin number 7, as you see. Here is also the same. First, I will specify the pin mode, means that as the inputs and output for me. And in the second part, I will read the value of my digital. Have a look to this also. please. Uh, try to memorize and uh, or uh, try to analyze the program or the codes that are written here. Okay, it's very simple. Just first pin mode and then reading the value and then digital rights value. Okay, uh, I think last year I have done some uh simulation part that uh, when i press the key the led is turned on and off as you see here see once more have a look when you press the key LED is turn on and turn off. That is exactly the previous codes that we use. And uh, we uh, use the two statement of digital write and digital uh, read for our uh, pins. OK. What we learned today was using the digital read and how to use digital read and digital write together and finishing the digital inputs output for our Arduino board. 
Now we have task number six, which in this, the example that I have done, I want that you do it with the just Protoss simulator, not any other, and send it by email and PPT uh, for me. I will share this on, on uh, WeChat groups. And uh, if you didn't understand the task, please give me feedback on WeChat private. I already shared this in our WeChat groups. And um, now uh, for the ending section of today, I want that uh, we see some clips and some movie, uh, which uh, will help um, I'm, I mean to see and analyze the um, ordering a job and coding better. The aim for this part is that um, I want to give you the top project of 2019 with the order in Obor. This is the servo motor. We will go to talk even for this motor later. And inputs is uh, ultrasound sensors, which when it will see the object, it will change the direction. Okay, this is some nice one. Okay, some robotic arm or robotic hand. It's exactly digital inputs, pin, and output is just running the servo motors. Next one is gripper job, programmable robotic arms. Next job is CNC machine work. Another one is 3D printer. Remember that all this job is with the help of Arduino board and simple programming that we can do there. Okay, drone with the gesture. Next is cube solver. Fantastic, it's very nice. Okay, knock knock locker. Air guitar.
okay some tree climbing robots okay some led cubes You will see that it's again inputs output of digital sports. I like this one. It's very nice. See this. Okay, some only the smartwatch, something like that. You can make it simply with the help of Arduino. They use the charger for that and then use okay some handmade clock something like that okay some gesture may or Some PID controls like that. This is gimbal job, which can control the position of the. Some game, you see that here they use the push button that I tell you. You can make that with Arduino Uno and some OLED very nicely. Okay, some tracker or solar tracker, which can follow the lights. Some servo joystick, which can help as the manipulator and robotic arms for us. Some NRF job, which can give the wireless joystick for you. As you see here, they say that what part of design they use. This is some analog right that we'll see. Okay, just I will try to each section give you some clips and video which in that um, you can uh, slowly slowly increase your designing ability systems and you will learn more how to do it okay I think it's okay for today um, please follow the task send it on time uh, my friend, we are around uh, 145 students in our class. Um, when I will start to see the task, I cannot repeat the time. Please see my limitation also. 
send it on time then uh, I will check your task as usual and give you feedback from this time you will receive some mark also uh, please uh, read uh, this PPT from the mock and also uh, if you have any question, please ask me in private in WeChat. Have a good day. Take care. See you soon.